This is part 44 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss display and edit templated helpers in MVC. Please watch part 43 before proceeding. Templated helpers are introduced in MVC2. These built-in templated helpers can be broadly classified into two categories, display templates, editor templates. There are three display templated helpers at html.display, display for and display for model. Before we try and use these templated helpers, first of all, let's generate details and edit views without using these templated helpers. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the employee class that we have been working with in the previous sessions of this video series. And then the metadata of this employee class is present in this class, employee metadata. And in the previous sessions, we have discussed in a very great detail about these attributes, hidden input, read-only, data types, scaffold, column, etc. And then within our home controller, we already have details and edit action methods implemented. And if you notice the de this details method, we are passing the ID of the employee whose details we want to view. We are creating an instance of our sample DB context class. And then we are using this employee's property to retrieve the list of all employees from the database out of which we are getting the single employee where the ID matches with the ID that is coming into this details action method. And then we are passing that employee object to this view. And notice that we also already have details and edit views. But for now, I'm going to delete them. And then I'm going to re-add the details view. So the name is going to be details and we are going to create a strongly typed view against employee model class and then the scaffold template is going to be details let's click add this should add details view and notice the amount of HTML that's generated for us so there's a lot of HTML right here and then at the bottom you have some action links but for now let's delete them save everything and run the project and then let's navigate to details action and pass employee ID of one. So now we see the employee full details. But then within our view, there's a lot of HTML. Now instead of this, we can use one of the templated helpers, display for model templated helper. Okay, so if you look at this view at the moment, this has got a model object associated with this view. So the model object is employee. Okay, so this view is a strongly typed view. So we are going to use display for model HTML helper with this view. So instead of all this HTML, I'm going to get rid of all that HTML and then simply use at HTML dot display for model. So this templated helper is going to walk through each property within the employee object and inspect that properties metadata. Remember within our employee class we have decorated a few of the properties with with the attributes. Okay, so these attributes are going to specify what type of data they have and, and how we want these properties to be displayed on the view. So the templated helpers are going to inspect that model metadata and then render the UI for us depending on those attributes. So let's save everything, build the solution and then let's refresh the view. The output is going to be exactly the same thing except that we are using display for model HTML helper. So this display for model templated helper, we use that with strongly typed views. And this templated helper is going to walk through each property in the model to display that um, you know UI for us. So when do we use display HTML, I mean templated HTML helper? Now we use this when we are working with views that are not strongly typed. Let's actually understand that with an example. Now if you look at what we are doing, we are passing this employee object to the view. But now I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to store that employee object in view data. And I'm going to use this key for that. Employee data. And let's store the object in view data using that employee data key. And then within our details view, I'm going to get rid of this model there. So now this view is not a strongly typed view. Okay, where is our employee object present? It's present in view data object. And what is the key that's holding it? Employee data is the key. So within details view, 
Now since this is not a strongly typed view, I can't use display for model. So I'm going to use display HTML helper and then pass, you know, the expression which is going to be the key that was used, you know, to store this employee object within view data. So I'm going to pass that employee data key. So let's copy and paste it there to get it right. Let's build this and let's refresh this view. The output should be exactly the same except that now we are working with a view that is not strongly typed and we have the employee data within view data. Okay, so the output as you can see here it's exactly the same thing. Alright, so when do we use display for HTML helper? Now again this templated helper is used with strongly typed views. If your model has properties that return complex objects, that's when this HD, I mean this templated helper is very useful. So for example, if our employee class has got you know a department property which is going to return a department object back, that's when we can use this display for um, templated helper. Now just like how we have three display templated helpers, we also have three edit templated helpers. Editor, editor for and editor for model. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly look at using one of the uh, templated helpers, edit templated helpers. So within our home controller, we have this edit action method. Again, we are passing the ID of the employee that we want to edit, retrieving the employee object, and then passing it to the view. So let's go ahead and add a view. Uh, the name of the view is going to be edit. We are going to make use of razor view engine and the model class is going to be employee But I'm going to choose empty as the scaffold template So it's not going to generate all that HTML for us and here I'm going to use the using statement and then we need a form tag So I'm going to use begin form HTML helper and then within this I'm going to use Display for model HTML helper so again, this helper method is going to walk through each property, inspect its metadata, and then it's going to render the UI for us. So let's build the solution. And then let's navigate to edit action and pass employee ID of one. So again, at this point, we should get an editor interface. Oh, we used to display for model HTML helper. We want to use editor for model for an editor interface. So let's build the solution and let's refresh this. So there we have the editing interface. All right. Now to associate metadata with model class properties, we use attributes. In the previous sessions of this video series, we have discussed about using various data annotation attributes. These templated helpers use metadata associated with the model to render the user interface and we have seen that practically just now. The built-in display and edit templated helpers can be customized according to our needs. We'll discuss this in our next video session. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.